Hello everybody. I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how I paint um, chainmail on my figures. Uh, it's really straightforward, it's really quick and if you've got loads of figures to paint that have got chainmail uh, this is really going to save you a lot of time. Okay so on with it straight away. What I've got, I've just got a basic figure prepped up ready to go. All I've done if I can just focus in all I've done is just basically base coated it with silver. Yeah, any sort of metallic paint, sort of silver, steel, chainmail, that sort of thing is going to work. Yeah, and all I've done is gone over the whole thing with silver. Yeah. Next up, you're going to need. Vallejo black wash, Vallejo blue wash, and Army Painter dark tone. Yeah, you're going to need two drops of each of those. So there we go. One, two. Two of those. Two of those. And then what we're going to do is just going to mix that into a quick wash. Now, what we're going to do is just Hit the whole thing, swamp it. Now you'll notice that the ink just sinks directly into the cracks and crevices in there. Right, we're not messing about, we're flooding it. Right. Like I say, this is really quick. Now. You might think, oh, this looks really dark. Yeah, it does, but it doesn't dry dark. Okay, so you give it a quick shade. Let's get it up so if I can focus it. Right. So that's first shade on. Yeah, obviously, I've been a bit sloppy, but I'm not really that worried. I'm just giving you the idea. Plus, this is the first time that I've tried to paint while I have got my phone set up. So, yep, it's not going to be accurate at all. But, you get the idea. Okay. As you can see, the ink's settled into all the crevices. Now, I've seen people do it the other way around, where they'll... Um, paint it black, dry brush it up, and other techniques that are similar to that. Okay, now that is shade one. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back uh, and see how it looks and see if it needs another shade. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, as you can see, this is dried now. Yeah, that's the first coat on there dry. Now I'm going to give it another wash. See, because there's still areas. There's there's lines that it hasn't touched. There's you know crevices that it hasn't sunk into. But you can see what I mean. It it looks as if it had dried, as if it was going to dry really dark. But it did actually lighten up. Now I'm going to use the same stuff that I've got because that's why I used two drops of each. Yeah, so that it'd still be runny by the time that um the first coat had actually dried. So what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm just going to flood the crevices again. Obviously, you'd be doing it a lot more careful than what I'm doing it. I usually do this sort of one of the first things that I do on a figure. If it's got chain mail, I'll do the chain mail pretty quick. 
and then that way I can sort of uh, line it afterwards, cut it in and do all the other bits and pieces that I need to do to it. But like I say, yep, 15, 20 figures lined up on the table. Yeah, ready to do. Um, by the time you've sort of base coated 20, go back, first wash 20, go back, you know, they're going to be dry. Well, pretty much dry, ready for the second coat. Right, let's have a look, see if you can see that. See, yep. I've hit it again. Yeah, like I say, it's really difficult for me to paint if I'm trying to sort of, uh, I've got the phone sort of propped up in front of me while I do this. But usually what I'll do is, as it's drying, I'll slowly go round and just sort of make sure that it is sitting where I want it to sit, in the crevices, around in the lines and that, if there's any bits, any any sort of uh, holes in the chain mail that it hasn't gone into, get the brush, bash it in there. Um, now, afterwards, you can, if you want to, decide to dry brush it. I mean, but to be honest, I don't usually, you know? I don't usually bother. I mean, if there's loads of bits that I've gone over while I'm painting other stuff, yeah, I'll just sort of, say for instance, I've gone around the edges and um, I've accidentally gone over the chainmail around the edges with other colours. What I'll usually do is I'll usually just paint a bit silver and then give that around the edge a wash or I'll line the, the whole of the um, the armour around the outside of the armour. I'll line it with, say, um, a Vallejo smoke. I use that for most of my lining. Yeah. Right, gonna let that dry again. Yeah, um, I'll be back in a minute and I'll uh, I'll show you how it looks finally. See you soon. Okay, guys, this is pretty dry, and uh, obviously when it's a hundred percent dry, you won't get any of that gloss. It dries pretty matte, to be honest. But look, you can see how it looks. There are some areas, there's a couple of little lines there that you can hit again with the wash. But overall, chain mail wise, that looks pretty good. Time you've put everything else in, all the other colours from all the other bits and pieces and lined it. That's going to look alright. It looks better in hand than what it does on um, this video I'm afraid. So yeah, if, if you like it, give it a go. Yeah, and please leave a comment and tell me how it turns out. I've been doing it this way for quite a while now, guys. I've been sort of painting since the 1970s, and uh, I worked out how to do this this way, sort of back in the 80s. Been using inks and, and stuff like that for quite a while now. And uh, this is pretty quick. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, yeah, you can dry brush it up afterwards. You can play about with it however you want. But overall, as a basic effect, yeah, this is pretty good. Pretty good, and it's pretty easy. Beginners can do this. Pretty much anyone can do this. This is not rocket science. It's just basic figure painting. You know, and the effects are pretty good. I do this with um, sort of other bits and pieces as well. I, I use similar techniques with leather and uh, lots of other bits and pieces. But I don't think I'll be able to get away with doing it on my phone. This is one of the ones that's uh, quite easy to do on your phone. You don't need to sort of like stand there and try and sort of shake your hand and, and try and get eyeballs in and stuff like that. I mean, when I get a proper digital photo, uh, video camera, then, yeah, I'll be able to do some proper tutorials. But for now, this is it. If you like it and you use it, can you please give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, say, yeah, this works, and or no, I prefer doing it this way. I like to hear different ways of doing things. But, uh, yeah, overall... This is how it will turn out for you. And like I say, if you've got 20 or so units lined up on a table, yeah, you go bash, 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 base coat, all of them. By the time you've base coated all of them, the base coat should be dry on that first one. You go bash, 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 first coat of wash. By the time you've coated all 20 of them, the first coat will be dry. And then wash them again. By the time you've done them again, that second coat will be dry. And then all it is is just go around and you see little you'll see little lines and you'll see little bits where the, where the ink hasn't settled properly. Just hit it. Just hit it with the ink. 
and uh, it will work out just right. Like I say, I do this for scale mail, I do this for um, chain mail, um, I do something similar for, for helmets, and I've got another one that I use for bronzes where I play about and uh, and do my bronze techniques. But overall, like I say, this is pretty quick. Anyway, if you like it, please leave me a like. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.